Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I can't tell you how delighted I am to be back in Bakersfield. I love this town. As I settled in to watch Buck's show, it struck me. This was the first time I was seeing it as an audience member. I want you to take this piece of paper. And it was his old show. The changes he had made in Vegas were gone, as if they had never happened. And somehow it felt right. It was actually kind of beautiful in a way. Because I know what the number is. The number you have written down is the number 77. Is that correct? Show the audience. Isn't that wild? What the world needs now is love, sweet love. When I tap them on their left shoulder, they will be sound asleep in their chairs. Humpty Dumpty <laughs> sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great wall. As the show neared its finale, I saw that Buck actually had made one small change, and this one was just for me. For many years, there have been rumors that I employ some sort of listening device to aid me with this effect. I would like to address those rumors tonight. Is there a doctor in the house? Oh, there are two. May I ask you both to come on stage, please? Take these instruments, please look in my ears and tell the public if I have any kind of listening device whatsoever. It's all clear. Thank you. Now, to convince even the most hardened skeptics, I will also put this hood over my head. I will ask you all to clap in unison while my fee is being rehidden here in the auditorium. And I am ready. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the public, I may have to inconvenience you one more time. I must have, please, for this effect, complete silence. I couldn't watch because I knew Buck wasn't going to find the money. Oh. I could only guess that whatever Buck had used in the past, whether it was an earpiece or his own powers, it was gone now. And for the first time, I realized I wanted to believe that Buck would always be out there in some small town somewhere, showing people that the impossible was possible, that there was magic in this world. But that wasn't meant to be. This time, it was really over for Buck. Sir, you have the money. I'm sorry, I don't have it. Sir, you have the money in your left pocket. 